Shalom, party people, and welcome to the 12th C. Proverbs chapter 27 on page 753, 754, and Luke 16, 19 through 31 on page 1007 in the Scriptures 2009 edition. Proverbs 27. Do not boast of tomorrow, for you do not know what a day for brings forth. Let another man praise you, and not your own mouth. A stranger, and not your own lips. A stone is heavy, and sand is weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier than both. Wrath is cruel and displeasure overwhelming, but who is able to stand before jealousy? Open reproof is better than concealed love. The wounds of a loved one are true, but the kisses of an enemy are profuse. One steadfast, or er, one satisfied loathes the honeycomb, but to a hungry one, any bitter food is sweet. Like a bird that wanders from its nest, so is a man who wanders from his, from his place. Ointment and perfume gladden the heart, so one's counsel is sweet to, to his friend. Do not forsake your own friend or your father's friend, and do not go into your brother's house in the day of your calamity. Better is a neighbor nearby than a brother far away. My son, be wise and gladden and gladden my heart, that I might have a word for him who reproaches me. A clever man foresees calamity and conceals himself. The simple shall go on and they are punished. Take the garment of him who is a guarantor for a stranger and for a strange woman pledge it. He who greets his friend loudly early in the morning shall have it reckoned to him as a curse. Drops that never cease on on a very rainy day and a, and a contentious woman are alike. Whoever hides, whoever hides her hides the wind and his right hand encounters oil. Iron sharpens iron, a man sharpens, and a man sharpens the face of his friend. He who tends the fig tree eats its fruit, and he who guards his master is esteemed. As in water, as in water, face reflects face, so a man's heart reflects a man. Sheol and destruction are not satisfied, so the eyes of a man are not satisfied. A refining pot is for silver and a furnace for gold, so a man is is tired by his praise, or a man is tried by his praise. Even if you even if you pound a fool in a mortar with a pestle, along with crushed grain, his folly shall not leave him. Know well the state of your flocks, set your heart to the herds, for riches are not forever, nor a diadem to all generations. Grass, van grass vanishes and new grass appears, and the vegetation of the mountain is gathered in. The lambs are for your garments, and the goats for the price of a field, and goats milk enough for your food, for the food of your household, and sustenance for your girls. Luke chapter 16, verses 19 through 31. But there was a certain rich man who used to dress in purple and fine linen and lived luxuriously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Eleazar being covered with sores who was placed at his gate and longing to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Indeed, even the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to be that the beggar died and was carried by the messengers to the bosom of Abraham. And the rich man also died and was buried. And while suffering torturers and Sheol, having lifted up his eyes, he saw Abraham far away and Eleazar in his bosom. And crying out, he said, Father Abraham, have compassion on me and send Eleazar to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. I am suffering in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that in your life you received your good, and likewise Eleazar the evil. But now he is comforted, and you are suffering. And besides all of this, between us and you is a great chasm that has been set, so that those who wish to pass 
from here to you are unable, nor do those there pass to us. And he said, Then I beg you, Father, that you would send him to my father's house. For I have five brothers. Let him warn them, lest they also come to this place of torture. And Abraham said to him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. Or let them hear, hear them. For he said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they shall repent. But he said to him, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither would they be persuaded, even if one should rise from the dead. Go do hard things.